I want to compliment our colleagues in the Independent for Change Group uh, for tabling uh, this all-important private member's uh, motion. And I want to say that we will be supporting your motion. Uh, and I think it's coming very late when the government now decide uh, that they're going to have a counter motion. They're setting up an interdepartmental committee. Uh, may have been decided. Uh, I'm not aware uh, at the meeting in Glen Colum Kill when it was the only time, the only time in the last almost 11 months since the Minister of State for the uh, Geltacht and the Islands was appointed. Didn't step into Donegal Geltacht in all of that time. Uh, breeze in and breeze out, and out as quickly as you can uh, before any delegations want to meet them. In the past, and I go right down through all the ministers, going back to uh, the, uh, Tom O'Donnell, uh, the first minister for the Celtic, and all his successors, right down to myself, Mary Coughlin, and indeed your own colleague, uh, Denny McGinley. Not alone were we ministers with responsibility for the Geltacht, we were looked upon as TDs for the Geltacht and TDs for the island, uh, and visited the islands, uh, visited the Geltacht on a regular basis. Immediately on the appointment of a Minister of State or a Minister for the Geltacht, uh, they visited uh, all of the uh, various uh, regions, Geltacht regions, uh, throughout the country. We might not have time this evening, Minister, uh, to debate the situation in relation to the uh, recent flooding uh, in Donegal, uh, when you totally ignored us, when we just got a text, a sound, everything, that's all. No communication whatsoever. And what hope have the islanders of having communication with the Minister, when the Minister will not even communicate with those who have been elected to represent those islanders and to represent the Geltacht? Uh, that's typical of this government, and I often say, what would they do had they an overall majority? Uh, we're there to try and ensure that we can assist the government in the best interest uh, of the country, and we've done that. But the minister, this minister, is totally ignored. I was in Arnmore Island when he was Minister of State previously, uh, both himself and Minister McHugh, who was Minister for the Diaspora at the time. <clears throat> we went and we visited the Lighthouse Road, which was in urgent need of repair. And I said to them in a facetious way, well, we better get back to the mainland soon because tomorrow the lorries will be on the Arnmore Lighthouse Road. Uh, to save embarrassment some time afterwards, a small grant was made available to um, repair some potholes. But of course, the typical uh, response again was, uh, it's not a county road, so there's nothing we can do. A beautiful scenery, and the minister, both ministers at the time, were totally enthusiastic and said they would provide funding, but no funding has been provided uh, since then. Of course, uh, we have always, in our party, recognised the special value and rights of our offshore island communities. Uh, we have in government consistently supported uh, the islands uh, and those that call uh, our uh, islands uh, their home. Uh, we res uh, assigned responsibility for the islands to a full minister, Minister Raymond O'Keeve, who was the first, both Geltacht uh, and islands, uh, and was always available uh, to visit uh, the various Geltacht uh, and the islands. And I think of 2009, when we had the Tulchen, particularly in West Donegal in the Guidori area, within a matter of days, the minister was there to inspect firsthand the damage that was done and provided the necessary fund to prepare bridges to repair bridges that weren't on county roads. But now we've been told damage done to bridge, a bridge in the West Donegal Gildag, uh, they can't get involved. Of course that's the responsibility of Run the Gildag and also the Minister, uh, uh, Minister Ring, who at least came back and, and communicated with us. 
But under this present government and its immediate predecessor governments between 2011 and 2016, uh, they have massively neglected our, our islands and their communities to such a point that the islanders are now, uh, their islands are under uh, serious threat. They're struggling and uh, they're stripped down, public services, decline in population, which has been mentioned, and under serious uh, threat. The decline in the populations is understandable, 155, and I'm surprised there's not more between 2011, uh, when the figure was 2,889, uh, and the census 2016 figure of 2,734, uh, representing uh, some 5.4 uh, percent. Uh, that demonstrated to us firsthand the challenges uh, that lay ahead. But now we find that as a result of a government decision and a proposal by the Minister of State for the Gaeltacht and the Islands, that they have decided now, at this stage, almost eight years afterwards, that they would establish uh, a interdepartmental committee for the islands, and how appropriate the first meeting will be held on the 24th uh, of uh, September. It will be held uh, next week. I wonder, and from my contact with the islands, I, I, the minister might inform us later, have all the Gaeltachs been informed have been, and invited, and who uh, may attend that from all of the government? This is typical, and it's very obvious that there's going to be an election in the next number of months because they're trying to convey to the islanders that they have their interests at heart. This government uh, and this minister will be judged on their performance over the last uh, seven uh, or uh, eight years. We, uh, in our party, and we have had debates on this, we're committed to the islands, uh, and we have a strong record uh, of delivery uh, between 1997 and 2011. We, as I said earlier, we give full responsibility to a, a minister uh, for the Gaeltacht uh, and the islands uh, under one department. Uh, the provision of some 100 million for the infrastructure uh, development of the islands, uh, the development of comprehensive ferry services uh, between uh, the mainland and the islands, and of course uh, the lowering of the pupil teacher uh, ratio uh, on the islands, uh, the provision of a social welfare uh, islander allowance to compensate islanders for the higher cost of living. Uh, and the annual infrastructure fund for the development uh, of uh, the islands. Uh, so that's looking back, but of course we have to look forward as well. And our policy, uh, looking forward, will focus on providing adequate state-contracted uh, transport services, providing full access uh, to and from the islands. Uh, and having spoken with a number of representatives on all of the islands, and particularly our, our, our own county, and others can speak for their, their counties. And the one problem that all of them have is the question of roads. I have uh, photographs here and can make them available of some of the islands, just not last in the last couple of weeks, but for the last number of years, even looking at those on, on, on Gola, uh, on uh, islands uh, such as, as the small islands, uh, Oi, Inishbofin, uh, Tory, Arnmore Island, uh, all of these islands require uh, funding, and we're told that there may be some funding available. That there may be some funding available. You know, Ara, Tamich, Egjeru, no, Alar, me man for. Because the Koreriga their file in Ish, Katian their Koreriga that Shen their file, Nish Louis of Lian, and this commission that will the Jesh a Kur and the Bora Shen are reentering. But maybe there's another major project in some other part of the country that's not in Donegal that might require substantial funds between now and the end of the year so that it can be a once-off and the rest of the islands uh, could be paying for this. I think it's wrong. It shows that the government have no interest in the islands. They have no rural development policies uh, as far as the islands are concerned. All they're interested in is ensuring that there are other projects which the Minister may have an eye on, and perhaps he might tell us if this is what projects are hoping that would come to fruition, uh, which would uh, be used uh, to uh, ensure that that money wouldn't be returned uh, to the uh, exchequer. Um, 
we, we recognise the traditional rights of islanders uh, and I believe the roads and their uh, peers. Minister McHugh made reference to Project 20, 2040 and of course to tell us in a man in a year and of course that there will be a major project for um, Maharorty, not an island, but servicing uh, Inish Boffin and Tory, uh, the importance of that. Uh, and I would just like to remind uh, Minister McHugh in uh, his absence uh, that he gave a commitment uh, on uh, Radio in the Giltachta, uh, when he was Minister for the Giltach, he said that Maharorty Breakwater is to be completed in 2020. Maharorty Breakwater a major infrastructure uh, uh, project to be done in 2020. I mean, it's not even got on the drawing board yet, not alone construction uh, or planning. I mean, this is a cynical approach that we're, we're good in Donegal, uh, and the government's representative is good in Donegal at the moment in uh, making announcements, but there's no follow through. Very easy to they tell me to hit the first golf ball but it's more difficult to hit it and to get it right in. But we're hitting them all the time, and uh, no progress has been made. So, hugging uh, Ara McHugh, because they and Ara Geltachta, Fockel, Hugsiaakel, Erorti, Raddy and the Geltachta, Gome Tunkosh, Ake Myrorti, Erfail, Sen Blain, Fiha Fiha. Nur in Tantara Kane, a touch Fred Rare and Jesperg de Shaw, Bijakari Shah, Nul Duin, Kanach, a woolen togrishan. As Fajor Ran, Naha Relene, Ahernoia, Ta and Kation, Egfrastel, Er and El Hori, August Er Ellen and Ishpoffin. August Nervisha Loon, Helenshan, Ner Uche Dade, Fuduta, a K Rana, Er Ellen Arn War. August Vichis for Dogum Selection Arishan, Nismudan Blinahan, Sancha Shaw, August Uche, Nakro. Kola Kondi Gunanal, a Jangwalish and Run, Majorly Shaw, Kermajinia Nalier and an Eation, Guru Kola Kondi Gunanal, and a Jangle, a Jangleish and Eation, August Nerluce, Shen Few, Majorly K Rana, Ernelenshen, Majorly Elnellen and Nalna, Oin on Ishpoffin, August Elnella, Coswilla, and Ishvicadorn, and Ishfree. To Erigat the year in the Helen Shankalier, August Neil Machakanch for Erigat War, Neil Machakanch for Shan, Tamachakanch for Erigat Racenta, Kun Nabora Shan Ayeshu. Last year, we in this House uh, supported a private member's motion uh, on, uh, from Sinn Fein on fishing rights in island communities, and we're glad to do that. But now it has come to my attention that, of course, uh, there will be a uh, a, a money order relating to this, so that stopped us in its tracks, and it doesn't. It means we we can't go uh, any, any further. So we're we're uh, very supportive of this uh, motion from the uh, Independent for Change, but I think it was a very cynical one to suggest that on next Tuesday uh, there's going to be a meeting of the. Uh, development. They need the Dal uh, Chamber here. That there be so many attending from all the government departments uh, and all the island communities. Uh, I wish the minister well as an endeavours, but I think it's uh, a bit cynical coming at this late stage in the life uh, of uh, this this government. So, my focal score a Kincorla. The Mojinyak Toch Land Takiak Don Runsha, Taskor Nadala Anokt, Majorle and Tarishkinsha, Nanel Amahon Costa, Agus Ampian Erenara, Rodig and Yanu, Donna Bohra, Svejere Shan Yanu Gulua, Svejere and Erigat the Kar File, Kail Jira, Agus Takoli Hanigan and Al, Ray Kantus the Kar. Lesson of our Kanabohrishan Ayeshu, Oxmel Majorlina Kena, Tusulagam Gome Skeleg and Anokt, Majorly Kayan Rani, Oxmar Dutchme Gomenic, Ta and Kay Shaw, Erin Clare Ubra, Le Blinta, 
blint the father, August Tashia Nam, Don Real to Shaw, August Ni Fu Vegal Rash, Kajin the Blint the Rev Gavil is the Henyag, the Shivsha Gokt, or Fau, Ock Blin and Nish, August Tashia Nam, August Rod Digan Yanu Fudu to Shaw. Good morning.